Hello! Today I will show you how you can use the registration token to easily and securely enroll a token for a user without the administrator knowing the token. Um, please note that you will have to use at least Privacy IDEA version 2.5 Devil 4. Um, in older versions there's a small bug in the registration token which avoids doing so. Okay, for the user to be able to enroll the token we have to configure some policies. First we will define a policy in the scope web UI and we define the login mode as privacy idea. This means that when the user tries to authenticate to this web UI, he will be authenticated against privacy idea. We define this policy for the realm local SQL. Okay, everything is fine. Then we create another policy, um, a user policy. Uh, we do not want to confuse the user. The user should only be able to enroll HOTP tokens. Okay, fine. Okay, and then finally we need a third policy. Um, right, we need an authentication policy. And we set OTP pin to user store which means that when authenticating against privacy idea, the user has to use the password from his user store and the OTP value from the OTP token. Okay, we also do this for the local SQL realm. Now we have these three policies. Now the user, let's see the user in the local SQL realm. This user does not have any tokens at the moment. Uh, we will reset the user password. And then we will enroll the cute new registration token. We don't have to do anything else. We do not have to set a pin as we are using the password from the user store instead of the pin. We just hit enroll and we get a registration code. This registration code has to be handed to the user. Um, you can also use the REST API to automatically create such a res registration token and for example have the registration code sent via email or via text message or via a postal letter to the user. The interesting thing about the registration token is that the user can use this code to authenticate against privacy idea, but if this code was used the first and the only time, this token will be deleted. This way we assure that this registration code can only be used once. Here you see the user Corny has a registration token. Now, perfect, the administrator can log out and the normal user can log in. Now, we defined the policies so that the user, when logging into the web UI, has to authenticate against privacy idea. So, and the authentication policy OTP pin was set to user store, so we have to use the password from the user store. And uh, I hope, yes, I did copy the registration code to the clipboard. Now I can paste it in here and the user will authenticate with this password from the user store and the registration code. Login. Perfect. The user has logged in to the self-service portal and as you can see, he does not have any token anymore. 
but now he can hit enroll tokens. He is only in, allowed to enroll HOTP tokens. He will do so. He will do so. And he will be able to scan the QR code. Wait a second. Scan the QR code. And now he has the token and he can log out. From now on, he can authenticate with his user store password and the OTP token without the administrator ever having seen the QR code of the OTP token. The user store password and the OTP value logged in. <laughs> 